Hello everybody, Brendan Parker, back again with another tutorial. This time this is going to be my third tutorial on After Effects. I'm going to show you this little trick I did. So I'm going to go to right here, I'm going to go here, open up the footage, show you what I did with this little, it's a little, kind of like a magic power effect that I that I did with more of my videos on my second channel, my Spinoc channel. So I'm just going to go to right here. Okay, and it's this one right here. Okay, special powers, and I'm just gonna go exactly where it happens. So right about here. The power, watch the snap. Oh, there's the power now. See that? I'll just show you how I did this now. A lot of what I did on this is uh, some uh, FX Factory Pro plugins, which is only for Mac uh, users who have uh, After Effects and who have Final Cut. So, uh, so you're not going to get exactly the same effect that I did, but you're going to get you can get like similar to what I did. So I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. I can show you how I did the effect a little bit using the basic uh, effects that come with After Effects. Okay, right here, and we're gonna import. Okay, file, and we're gonna import the footage right here. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it into the composition. Okay, then I'm gonna go to exactly right about where it happens. So, probably to right about there. Okay, and then what I'm gonna do after that is add a new layer. Okay, layer new, I do solid. Okay, right there. Alright, right there, and then what I do next after I've added a new layer is what I do is I go to Fractional Noise. That's that. Okay, and Noise and Grain, we go to fract Fractal Noise. Okay, Fractal Noise. Right there, okay, and then we play around right here how we want it to start the look of it. So we probably might want it to look like this. We want it to look swirly. Want it to look cloudy. I'd say I'd have it look smear, smeary. Leave it like that for now. Then we reset. Play around. I'd move this a little bit. Play around with that once you activate with all these uh, stopwatches right there. You activate your animation. We're not going to activate them yet until we got it resized to the size we want to. Right about there for now. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to uh, go to mask. Okay, and the mask I would use is the lower one. I use this. Okay, and it makes it look round a little bit. Okay, and then right there, after I've added a mask, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to go to color. Okay, let's see. Color correction. We're in color correction. We're going to go to let's see color balance I'd add a color balance to this okay color balance play around with whatever colors you want it to be because it's your effect and you want it to be whatever you want I had it red so I'm gonna make it all red as much red as possible I'd probably take down the green take down the blue a little bit okay we're gonna add more red okay let's see yeah, I take down the green right there. Okay, now it looks a lot red. Then we'll probably bring up the blue on the mid balance, mid tone. Two right about there. I kind of like that. And then, oh, it's green highlights. Yeah, right there. Add some blue. So it's a little bit like a little bluish, greenish on the light right there where it's white a little bit. I'll leave it like that for right now. It's this is just uh, showing you the effect a little bit, um, so I'm not going to do it perfectly. Because like I said, I use the FX Factory Pro plugins for this. So those are for Mac users only. We have Final Cut and After Effects. So, so that's what I did with the final uh, product. So I'm just going to show you a little bit with the basic ones that I've done here. Okay, that's it right there for that. And then I'm going to resize how I want it to start to right about there for now where the line is right there 
and then I'm going to add a add a blur to this. Okay, adding the blur, I'm gonna add. Let's see, I would add like a box blur. Let's see, yeah, let's see, where's the blur? Where's the okay blur right here? We're gonna look for box blur. Okay, right there, and then we're gonna play around with the blur. Let's see, blur radius. To right about, I'd I'd take it down a lot, and I add the intensity. I'd probably bring it to like a two. Depending on what effects you have, like a, like me, I had used the FX Factory Pro one, so I I did it a little differently than what I'm showing you now. But since there's not a lot of people, I have a Mac. I'm just gonna show you basically a uh, way how to do this. So. Okay, blur, make sure that's a 2. Okay, leave that right there, right there. Okay, I like the color. Now I'm going to animate this, show you what it's going to look like a little bit. So start animating it to right about there. Let's see, let's go back to right here, right here, right here. Okay, bring it up. We're going to tick all this, tick, tick. And one tip to get you started when you're animating or whatever. As I said in my beginner's tutorial, make sure that you have this automatic uh, keyframe properties when modified, mod uh, modified or whatever. Make sure that is uh, it's red and it's uh, checked. Makes it easier to animate your animations when you're messing around in After Effects when you want to animate. And then anytime you want to animate, like I said in my beginner's tutorial, you just click one of these stopwatches, these little circles, and I'll zoom in on them so you can see what they look like. And then I'll put a link at the end of the tutorial to see my beginners get started on all the little tips and tricks to show you how to get started with all this a little bit. So I'm going to zoom in, or not zoom in, but to make the size this to how I want it. And, it, and when it has this uh, little bit of a, uh, this little things right here, they're kind of like, um, I guess they're key uh, like trackers, uh, motion trackers. That's what some people call them. I guess, I guess that's what they're called, uh, motion trackers. Because when you have this right here, when it's highlighted, and then I added like a uh, what was it, the mask right there, so it added the motion trackers for the mask. And you uh, size it to however you want it. How how far do you want it from your hands or whatever it's your effect it's your uh, animation or whatever you want to do to it so you make it however you want and after effects you can do whatever you want because everyone knows it's going to be fake but depending on how good you're you're doing how good it and you're going to play around with that a little bit Also, too, you might say you added, okay, we're going to, you play around with that a little bit, and I'll show you that. Make sure it's already started right there. Okay. Okay, make sure about the size you want it right there okay and then what I'm going to do next is change the right here this is the evolution we're going to change that it makes it move like all this right here we're going to go to here okay we're going to go to spin it to right about here okay spin this it doesn't have to be exact, you just keep moving it every time. Okay, right there. Keep moving that. Okay, keep moving this. Okay. And maybe you might want to change the at the fractal type. Since I have it checked, you might want to change it to let's see, cloudy. No, maybe not cloudy right there. We might want to have strings. Ah uh, I don't really like the strings. Ah, threads. You might want to mess around with that. And it, thread is uh, changed it up a little bit, so it made it a lot more red, like darker. You might want to play around with the this a little bit. 
the color or you might want to change it you might want to have spleen yeah spleen right there that makes it pretty nice so we're going to play around with this okay make sure that we started we have it like this play around right here we change it to this okay right here we change it to this okay we change it to this okay Okay, it should start moving right here, start moving right here, start moving right here. I'm going to play around with that a little bit. Start moving right here. Okay, and that's how that works. Okay, right there. Keep doing it to however you want it. Okay, resize this to however you want. A little bit. Just play around with it a little bit. And uh, this is, like I said, I mostly use uh, uh, the FX Factory Pro ones that come with Mac. Uh, that are for Mac users only. So, that you, but uh, this is pretty much a little bit what I did. You can play around if you want it have like two of them you add two depending on what you want to do which try whatever you want to do with it a little bit you can add mask I say just adding mask whatever masking effects you have to get it to be more rounder right there a little bit and that's pretty much uh, how you do it you play around with the masking depending on what you have for stuff with masking I'll show you a lot more showing you how to do special powers effects a little bit and uh with the fire and all that, I'll show you in another tutorial how to do that a little bit. And this is just a, uh, just to get you started with what you can possibly do a little bit uh, with the getting of uh, effects and stuff like that. So that's it. Comment, read, subscribe. Uh, I just updated my website, uh, pixelpocketmedia.com. That's my website, and uh, check me out there. I I got a lot of uh, tutorials that I've done. I've uh, put a updated my uh, whole website with the look and everything, I updated the tutorials page and I'm going to be adding themes and, and stuff uh, for my store and everything, the sound, everything, all the 3D animations that I've been making, I'm going to sell some of those on my website and all the uh, stuff I'm going to be making like uh, free stuff to download on my, uh, well I'm going to change my theme page to downloading page so you could download like different stuff and on that page you can download like a bunch of free stuff there's going to be like youtube layouts there's going to be uh uh wordpress layouts joomla layouts drupal layouts there's going to be a bunch of stuff uh, i'm going to probably make some photoshop stuff to download so i'm probably going to change it from theme page my theme page to downloading to the uh, page so we so it could be different stuff you can download and stuff like that and that's it on this tutorial like I said, check out my website, uh, check out my second channel, Spynock. I haven't done a video there for a while, and I'm going to start doing a lot more videos there since uh, school is uh, pretty much out for the summer. And uh, I'm not going to register for the summer because I'm taking the summer off. So I'm going to register back in the fall. And that's it. And see you later. That's it. See you later. Come on.